Hi students, I welcome you all in lecture number 15, WP Bakery Advanced. So what we will learn today in this lecture, we will see uh, all of the widgets present in the WP Bakery. In the last lecture, I've told you like how to design any page from WP Bakery and what is the difference between WP Bakery and Elementor and um, how cool things uh, we can develop uh, through WP Bakery as well and how easy it is to use. In the next step, we'll see uh, there is another uh, you can say prop plugin, which is WP forms. And this is also used to create forms in uh, WordPress and WP stands for WordPress forms. And we'll see that how to make any form uh, through that. And uh, then we'll, uh, go, we're, we're going to start WooCommerce and uh, we'll see that WooCommerce introduction uh, in detail. And then we'll see that how to add products in WooCommerce and uh, what are the different types of products and how we can just add them in the WooCommerce, okay? And task is uh, just practice this and uh, in upcoming week, in this week, uh, I'll be assigning you a, a complete website using WP Bakery and Elementor as well with, with the help of both. And I'll be assigning you uh, a website as an assignment and with th that will also be graded. And uh, I have mentioned grades for every student uh, on the canvas. You can just go canvas and check and the students who haven't submitted uh, assignments, uh, they haven't got any marks. So you may go to canvas and check your results, okay? Okay, let us move uh, towards browser. Okay, first of all, we are going to see that what are WP Bakery widgets in detail. Okay, first of all, let us see that what type of website we have we currently have and either we have developed the homepage because about uh, contact and other these like kind of pages are done by Alimenter. And if we want to create about page using uh, we can say WP Bakery, we can do that as well. Let me show you first uh, creating uh, a, a about page in any normal page. And um, uh, by th that, I'll also show you what are the different WP Bakery widgets. So in this way, our, our um, first point will be covered as well, okay? Uh, in which I'll be showing you WP Bakery widgets. Okay, let me go to pages. And suppose, uh, I will open any page. Let me say, um, let me take any random page here. Suppose, um, let me, let me, let me find out. Suppose this, uh, which will have a good page. Let me see this. Okay. Okay. I don't think so. It has a about page. Okay. Let me open any random one. Suppose this one. We have created uh, this in assignments, but uh, let us see that how to create uh, it with WP Bakery, not with the Elementor. Okay. And we are right now in about a page and at the top we have this thing, okay? So there are few limitations which we cannot develop because this is a shape divider. This comes from Elementor, but yes, we can give it a heading or something like that. Okay, uh, I am in my about a page, about this new, let me see that what does it shows okay we can also integrate elementary and uh, wp bakery uh, okay so right now uh if i because this page is made on elementor right now it is not showing anything just because due to elementor is not activated but i want to show you that if we want to use elementor on the same pay, uh, theme how we can just achieve that we can just simply uh, activate the plugin and we can just simply design as we did it, uh, in the past. And uh, this, this theme also supports the uh, Elementor as well. Okay, when I'll be activating this 
elementor okay so uh, it will st uh, start showing this page i'm going to have to activate this contact form as well okay now i'm activating contact form sure and when i will see this page again it will show you a complete page it was show you yes okay so right now it is showing so what i want is i i, I don't want this uh with elementor i i want to try wp bakery so i'll go in elementor and i'll delete this one and also i'll go into wp bakery to design it in a new way and let me just show you that uh, how, what type of um, website uh, web page we can also create with the wp bakery other than the shop the home page we have created this this one okay and our goal is like this or maybe similar to this or uh, more good than this okay uh, Uh, till then elementor is opening and i want to delete the existent existing page <clears throat> okay so i'll be deleting the this page here and here okay so i have deleted everything on elementor and uh, let me see that uh, if this page is showing anything or not okay right now it is not showing anything but this weird uh you can say head heading page heading Okay, I'll go to edit page. I'm closing this element right now. Okay, I'm in a page editor. Okay, uh, then I'll go to this and I will hide page header. Okay, and I'll just update the settings and after update, I'll view the page. It must show the only header and footer and uh, nothing in between. Okay, and let me see that if it is open or not. Okay, I'll refresh this. Okay, it doesn't show anything. Uh, okay, it isn't showing anything. And this for customer is the footer widget. Okay, so no worries about that. So let it be open and uh, I'll try to uh, show you every widget and also I'll, I'll try to design the about page. Okay, uh, so uh, when we'll be in a WP Bakery, then we'll go to backend editor because this is the front end. As we open uh, with the eye icon and uh, the next page opens in Elementor, so we have backend and front end editor here. So I'll I'll be going to backend editor uh, because I want to work in widgets. Okay, so it is also showing me this edit by Elementor, but I don't want to edit this, edit this by Elementor. And okay. Uh, right now it doesn't have any element from wp bakery that's why it is showing this add element add text blog add any template it is just like similar like the elementary if we have predefined template we can also add this template to wp bakery otherwise the text blog is just, just like the elementor's text editor and add element is just like the add uh, widget okay these are all this is for content social structure wordpress widgets default WooCommerce widget, Electro elements, the uh, elements which are defined in this specific um, theme because WP Bakery is not only available with this Electro theme, 
uh, it comes with many other themes. Okay, so it, it is showing that which are like uh, widgets from Electra as well. And deprecated uh, means that these are not used now. These are old, not updated, but they are available to use. Okay, so I'll uh, go to content and we'll go one by one. Then this also works like a uh, row and column things. So first of all, I'll uh, assign a new row and here I have row settings, duplicate, close, and uh, toggle, hide uh, th that thing. Here I have, uh, I can drag this from here and I will uh, add this from here and we can divide it into columns. If we want two columns, three columns or single column, I can do it here. So first of all, I have uh, uh, who we are and we give smartness to your business. Okay, so we have one row and first of all, we'll uh, give this a uh, background color. So I'm going to edit row. Okay, and I'm going to, going to design options and it must have this background. And I will write hash to one A one, oh, sorry, A one D nine. Okay, it does sometimes like this. It duplicates what we write. Yes. So it has this and okay. So I'll save changes. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll click on this plus icon and I will go with the heading, custom heading, and I will write who we are. Okay, we have this, okay, don't a question mark, but yes. And if I want to design this, I will go into this specific uh, editor and I'll go to add design options and okay. And in general, okay, this is font family and I'll uh, select poppins. Poppins, Poppins should be okay. If for all we don't have Poppins, then we can go with Montserrat or maybe any because I, I don't want to go and all the way and find out. <coughs> Let us use Roboto and uh, this should be. bold regular and this should be in white color where is color setting yes here is color setting and i will assign it to fff okay now i will update the settings and let me see that if it is in center or like on the maybe it would be on the right left side okay now I will just refresh it. Okay, it is coming, but it is on the left side. Let me make it uh, in the center. How to do that? Okay, text align, center. Okay, font size 30. Um, line height is good and I want CSS animation to bounce in from left like this and okay save changes update Okay, let me refresh it.
cool and next thing is this we give smartness to your business it is a text block what i will do is uh i want uh, this in the same column so i will add a text block here okay then i will go to the text editor and i will just paste this and i'll go to design options editor okay then i will make it uh, center aligned okay and what else css animations fit in left big okay cool update and what else we have we have like two row one is for image and other is for heading Okay, then I'll go to next column. Yeah, and I will add a row. I will divide this into two and one is for image, single image. And let me just save this first. Okay, um, then it will ask sort from uh, the, here, upload files. And I will go to desktop. And I will add this here. Um, cool. Okay, then I will save change. I'm not going to create whole page. You can do it by yourself, but I'm just showing you how to do different things. I will also show you how to make this list and rest of the things are quite same, easy. Okay, then I will go here and I will, what I'll do is I have heading and text block. I can just copy this from, uh, duplicate this from here and i will drag it from here to here and i will also duplicate this and i will drag it here yes okay i'll go to editor and i will go here and i'll copy this much And I'll save this, then I can go here. And I will save, the, copy this and go here. Okay. And I will just make the alignment back and save changes. I'll update it. And this is getting loaded. Okay, let me reload. Okay, so the designing is on your part, but I'm just showing you how to edit this. But if you want any help in designing, I can also help you. Okay. So uh, yes, we can also like design it the same way, but still at the end of the day, Elementor is, is the best thing. So uh, maybe we can also make it like this. Yeah. Okay. So these are all row settings and I'll go to the single image and I will make it to full. Okay, 
uh, alignment is centered. MA design is default. On click animation, it should open light box. Image style is okay, default. Okay. Um, okay. Then I will update it. When I will refresh it, what it shows to me. Look, it is now in good shape. And let me just make the rows back to the proper division. Okay, rest of you, you can also design it how you want it. But I just wanted to show you how we can make things happen in WP Bakery as well, okay? see here okay next thing is on your part that how you want to edit it and one heading is not coming uh, maybe it is in white color that's why mm. yes that is why i am editing this Okay, next part would be, I will also show you all of the widgets. And uh, uh, first of all, okay, let me go line by line, okay? I'll just uh, refresh it. See, good. You can adjust alignment and other text shape and restart it. Okay, then I will just click this plus button and let me just tell you what other, uh, everything means. This is for contact form. This is a single row. This is a text blog like text editor. This is a one section in which you can add multiple row. Okay. You can add a row in here. Then by this big plus button, you can add an uh, element. Okay. This is icon. This is separated like divider. This is tweet me button this is facebook like button okay and then if this is hover box what is hover box let me just show you quickly quickly okay what i want to do is okay let me just show you this and let us divide these all widgets into two lectures. I will show you half of the widgets today and half of the widgets in tomorrow's lecture, combining with other things, other uh, things which uh, we will uh, also discuss uh, uh, around WooCommerce, because I don't want to just bombard uh, these all widgets onto you. I want to show everyone uh, that with every widget, okay? So I will just refresh it and uh, I've used hover box. Okay, this is hover box. See, when we hover it, it is like flip card. Okay. So, plus button. Okay, let me see that how many are they. So, I will see uh, around post grid today and rest of them tomorrow. Okay, um, this is tweet button and this is Pinterest button, FAQ. Uh, which is a toggle when I click it and it just drops down. Let me just show you. Let's change this and uh, load. You can go with the designing and all things and you will just open this. But uh, main thing I want to show you what is the widget. Okay, this is toggle title. Okay, this is toggle. See here okay uh next thing is okay this is the uh, section i want to delete it okay next thing would be i'm only adding by this small plus button i'm adding in the same column and this plus button makes a different row like this 
if I add different row, but I'm using this plus button. So uh, it is adding in the same row. Okay, this is single image, this is gallery, this is carousel and carousel are two like similar thing. Tab is like FAQ, the toggle button. What is tour? I've also seen this for the first time. Okay, update it and uh, I think that updated. Okay, so these are the two tabbed sections. We can just show one section and designing here. Then I'll click into second section and this will uh, change in the same uh, div here. Okay. Then I will go to next element. Um, this is for heading, this is button. This is for HTML maps video player post slider uh, in, in which we just show blogs as our post and th this with this will be a slider let me see if we have post and i'll add this one here and go to save changes i'll update this one okay this is loading I will refresh this page and uh, this should show a slider. This isn't showing a slider. So maybe I don't have any post. Let me see posts. And let me see also the settings of this post slider. Okay, not here, here, because that was sections content. I don't want into, okay, this was the post slider. Okay, we have one post, it should show our post. Uh, posts. Slider count three, auto rotate three, it should show post. Yes, I had to take mark this and it should show excerpt. I've told you excerpt in the last uh, lectures. And it should uh, output the post title on the main slide and link to the post. When I click on the slide, it should link, uh, get me to that post. I don't want to category uh, show categories and I don't want to give any element ID of class name. Okay, let me just update it. Okay, it is updated. Let me refresh it. Okay, this is showing one blog, but it, when it will have more than one, it will show all of them. Okay, let me just go to posts. I will not add a new, I will just duplicate this one. Okay, it isn't showing me the duplicate option. Okay, let me add one more. Test. Uh, test. Publish. Um, 
Okay. Yes, now we have a slider. Okay. So it goes like this. Then. Okay, then we'll see the next thing. That would be accordion is just like FAQ, like toggle button, which is what is pageable container. It is looking like a slider, but let me see what is that. Um, okay, it is like slider. You can see the buttons here, but uh, we have to configure something. Uh, into the slider, maybe that is why it is not showing any content. Let me just go to the editor. Okay, uh, autoplay is one second active section radio dots. Pagination color should be black. The dots color. Okay, what is the content thing? Okay. Okay, whatever we'll add in this section, it will show you that. Yes. So maybe text block here. Okay. Let it be updated. Refreshed first. Okay. In this first section, I'm adding text block. And in the section number two, I will add another text block. Yes, this is the same thing I know. This is the text block or any uh, elements slider. This is test. Okay, so I will just save it and update it. Okay, let me refresh it. Okay, this is showing test and this is showing the text block. Okay, next widget would be custom heading button call to action is just like a button. What is widgetized sidebar? It is sidebar, but let me see. What is it? It should show uh, widgets on the sidebar. I guess if I want to show sidebar anywhere on the page, so I will just go with the block sidebar uh, on this page because I want to add a sidebar here. Okay, let me also add another thing with this and we'll see that combinedly. If I want to add post slider, I, I did video player, Google Maps, raw HTML, raw J JavaScript. This is, if I want to add Flickr, this is the empty space, the BR tag. This is the chart, line chart, round chart, pie chart, progress bar. Let me add pie chart and at the end, we'll also see the, um, the last widget of this post grid. Pie chart is 50 value, label value is, okay. Leaving empty will set value from value field. Okay, this, it will add 50, but I want to add 60. Okay. Yeah, it should be PX. And color would be orange. And what else we have? Okay, save changes. And last thing would be 
post grid it is like uh, the post is blog always and grid is like this one two three four five six tabbed thing for the blogs data source is post okay and i'll just save changes and i'll update you can go with the designing and if you want to add this element you just go to designing explore things and if you don't understand ask me i'm here okay just try to explore things on your own because uh, self-learning is always makes you like more sharp if i'll tell you everything then uh, you will always be dependent on any teacher okay so it is loading loading and loading i don't know why it is taking so much time okay so it is updated so it will show you pie chart on the front end okay like this Okay, so you can add like any kind of thing uh, using this. So we are done with today's uh, widget and let's move on to uh, the next thing, which is WP forms making. And where is WP forms? It is simple, all forms, add new entries, settings, tools, and we'll just go to add new. It's simple like when we uh, create any new form in Elementor or Forminator, it is same like that. It after the uh, publishing, it will give you a short code and you will, just publish that short code anywhere. Suppose test blank form, or you can use any template. Let's suppose, let me use any template. It will also give you the fields where you can also edit the fields. Uh, okay. Let it be loaded first. Okay. Then it's simple. If we have like fields here and uh we'll just drag drop it okay it's so simple and if i want to edit i will just click and i can just edit enter your name enter uh your father name like that or uh, Okay, we have the general settings, advanced settings, which we have limit length, input mask, default value. Okay. And we can just use field options here. Oh, sorry. These are all field options and general advanced. And we can also use smart logic, but it will uh, ask us to upgrade to pro. Smart logic is just like if we want a multiplication with, uh, with the value of the two input boxes or something like that if you want to apply any formula okay so we're gonna have to do that uh, if we want to apply any marketing okay so tool on this uh page we can do that we can also enable payments but in the pro version okay uh if i want to add uh, make any order form and just want to add like any payment method on that we can also make some notifications we can do it here add notification we can uh, make confirmations like this okay so whenever someone will submit our form how what message will give uh, to our customers so everything is here so it is so simple okay and if you want to embed you can just select uh, any paid existing page to create create new page. suppose i want to embed that on uh, about us new and let's go save and embed Okay, so it is embed. Let me refresh it. Okay, it is getting loaded. Um, I have to refresh it again because it is loading. Okay, it is done. Where do we have?
it is not showing me let me go to wb forms again all forms okay we have test here we can just copy this short code and go to about us new and I want to edit this by the WP Bakery. I will search for the widget short code and I'll add this short code there. Okay, the next thing is WooCommerce introduction and how to add products. Okay. Okay, what is WooCommerce? WooCommerce is like a plugin in, uh, by which you can just uh, make your uh, website uh, and convert into from simple website to the uh, you can say e-commerce website, e-shop, or anything which related to, to payment collection or involves ordering, order tracking, order taking, order management, or any kind of thing which you want to sell online, uh, it, it requires WooCommerce, it requires e-commerce. Anything requires e-commerce uh, is done by the WooCommerce plugin in the WordPress, WP, okay? So it has like millions of, uh, you can say, uses and hundreds of plugins which are supported to uh, e-commerce and woocommerce so i will uh, just give you a very detailed introduction in the next lecture but uh, here we have the main plugin and we have home orders in which we also see the how to manage orders how to manage customer how to uh, uh, make new cop coupons and how to use them what are the reports of our total e-shop what is the setting of the woocommerce total uh, in which we like uh, take care of the marketplace what is the status of the WooCommerce and how, if I want to convert it into a marketplace, how we can do that, how to apply different subscriptions, uh, which are the things which are not available in the free version of WooCommerce, how to enable those pro features as well. Okay. And next thing is like adding simple products. Uh, the, the, the products are like, uh, which we uh, I have also showed you in the previous lectures when we developed the eShop with the Elementor. Uh, but in the next lecture, I'm going to show you what are the different types. We have like four types. One is simple product. Second is variable product. Variable is just like if we have a shirt, let's say we have a shirt and it has three designs and three colors and three different variations. So this is the variable product for one single product. Sing product is shirt and uh, let's say ABC brand shirt and it has three designs and three different colors. So it must be variable. Then we have uh, downloadable products. Suppose we are like Netflix or Amazon or any service provider. So what we'll do is we'll provide subscriptions. So it is a downloadable product, okay? And uh, we have an affiliate product option. Uh, suppose if I'm taking something from Amazon and I want to resell it through my website, I want to affiliate that product, to link that product uh, when the customer just click on that, it will redirect to the Amazon and we can get affiliate amount into our uh, bank as affiliate work. Okay, so we can add these four type of products and let, uh, I'll just show you everything in detail in uh, tomorrow's lecture. Okay, so until then, take care of yourself. Goodbye.